And hello, everyone. Welcome to Press A to Gay. Uh, my name is Tony, and my pronouns are they, them. Um, Chaz, pronouns are he, him. And today, we I'm are the playing... straight one. <laughs> the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, with our... this is... we have our new name. Chaz is straight. Like, the other two of us are gender queer and gay, but just, you know, that's fine. I like Chaz. He's great. Anyways, we're playing Enter the Gungeon. So on a distant planet, a grim fortress stood. A grim fortress stood. Da, 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 da. Wow, that's actually really pretty. It is. Until a deadly force parted the heavens. A giant bullet. And descended upon the keep. Like how it's just a big stupid bullet. So everything in this fucking game is bullet themed and it's really charming. Uh, thou brought to, though brought to ruin, the ashes of that place hold an artifact of impossible power. Wait for it. Wait for it. A gun, a gun that, that can, can kill, kill the past. past. <laughs> like all the worshippers. Like the uh, 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 Duke Lemon from Adventure Time. Worshippers. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, because why wouldn't you have a cult? Over time, the fortress was rebuilt. Also, I really like it when miscellaneous things just have faces. Um, and some who, who hear, hear legend, legend risk everything, everything for shot. another shot. Fuck. Oh, wow. This, this game has such a cute art style. <laughs> Uh, to claim their prize and make what was done undone, they must. Uh, enter, enter the, the gungeon, the sick cowboy. So, also, just just take a moment and listen to this fucking awesome music. Because it's pretty great. It's pretty great. Pretty great. But anyways, let's let's go right into it. Um, I only have only tooled around with this game for a brief moment, so we Let's have our. Let's start with the marine because it's probably the most well-rounded, right? That's my understanding. You essentially get an extra, an extra hit point, I think. Oh, good. With the helmet and uh, your, I think your radio does something. Um, you have the pilot, you have the convict, and you have the hunter who seems to have a crossbow and a dog. Um, but I'm gonna go with the marine first. So this is just <laughs> me playing. You have my dodge roll, and then you go up to our buddy over here. Look I at this! To the co-op, with so this is our first co-op game. Woo. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, first not multiplayer segment. Right. Co-op game. Yeah. Uh, so Chaz and I will both be entering the gungeon. So this is the gungeon door. This uh, I'm gonna be over here. Um, this dodge roll feels good. Oh yeah, God, the dodge roll feels so, so we're, we're good. So we're playing this on um, controller, and like there's a slight there's a slight vibration when you land that it does give like a good feel. Yeah, it adds a weight to it, which I like it, which is nice because like most of the time I don't notice vibrations anymore because I feel like they're very ill-timed and they don't make sense. But yeah, anyways, so Chaz, uh, your right trigger oh, shoots, left map. trigger brings up the map. We can also warp to things once we see a warp. Okay. Um, you already know the dodge roll. X reloads. I how don't, do I actively reload? I don't know how to do the active reload. I think it's, in fact, I think it's not an active reload. Uh, it's just a measure of time it takes to reload. Yeah, your right trigger uses items, which is my right. My right trigger shoots. Uh, I know. I sorry, your right bumper. Oh, so I see. press A. When you're a highlighted thing to interact with it. Well, <laughs> off to a great start. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Is angry book? Wait, are we doing that battle already? So so check this shit. So come come with me down here. Am I on so, the right or the left? It must be on the left. Yeah, I'm on the left. So we're down here, right? But uh -huh. we can just kind of like do this, and bam, we're here now. Oh neat. So it's nice that it lets us like not have to backtrack a bunch. So, oh wow, I already have not seen this enemy. But yeah, we're gonna be one, wanting to dodge roll quite a bit. This, um, as much as this game is basically Smash TV, but like, way more, um, it's, it's also more of a shmup than Smash TV ever was. Uh, uh, oh yeah, what's up here? I don't know if things are in bullets or not, but well, we'll find out. Uh, also, don't forget to push over tables and shit, because that's that's useful. That's right trigger, correct? Uh, tables interacting is using your A button, which <laughs> uh, destroying priceless artifacts is just by running into it. I don't. I guess we truly have entered the dungeon. Um, and also, I think that's this area. We, so we're we both are starting out with like super basic guns, but this game part of it is this kind of like if Borderlands guns were even more wild. So, I don't know. I'm pretty excited to find some weird shit. Uh, one of the DLC packs you can get is the pay-to-win gun. 
<laughs> which uh, every time you shoot it, it, it releases artwork and other things like that. Oh, watch out for that fucking grenade. Also, there's just something really beautiful about oh, guns. <laughs> well, not not necessarily guns, <laughs> but uh, but like just this sort of art style. Like I don't know. Like it's 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 like just the logical extension of like um of like if just having incredibly smooth sprite work. Like I don't know. It's very good. Oh fuck. Oh wow. Watch out! That thing will home in on you real quick. Uh, did we get all of them? I think there's... Oh, there's, a, there's a bullet. There's a bullet gun over there. Uh, we just say a bun for short. I hope we get another gun soon. I'm not entirely sure... Um, oh, it's a knigget. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what the sort of like, uh... Uh, gameplay rhythm is, is in this game. Um, Watch out for those Granados. Shit. Ouch! Let's give it an incredibly slowly moving uh, <laughs> a bullet. So, a nice thing about your character, Chaz, is that your, um, your second ability uh, lets... Wow, what's this right here? Probably a... Weird. Locked door or something? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, let's go. Let's go up. But, so, a nice thing about your character is even if you run out of lives, you'll drop this heart thing. Which I can pick up, which will revive you, so. Oh. But, just once, but. I don't know. We very well might not do so hot on this, but <laughs> I don't I know. seem to recall this is actually a fairly difficult game. Right. Which is alright. I expect we'll do, like, a few runs here. Um, I don't, I don't think we're going to complete the game by any means, but. <laughs> because, holy fuck. Well, I think it's like a Binding of Isaacs type deal, right? Where it's like huge amount of gain. Okay, Chaz, easy there. I would not say it's a Binding of Isaac type deal, because the only Binding of Isaac type deal is the Binding of Isaac. Have you have you played Afterbirth Plus? No, I, I like, that's that's a dark path. <laughs> it is a dark In path. In tone and amount of time. God, wow, those that game, it got so dark. Like, uh, so what's what'd that? you get? An item, I think? I got bouncy bullets. Oh, wow. They call me Revolver. Wow, that's super good. I wonder, like, do you just get to keep that? So here, let's go down. Um, fuck. God damn, Spy Fiction was a fun game. <laughs> yeah, it was a kick. I, I was definitely got uh, 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 upset at a lot of it, <laughs> but it was still an experience worth having had again. Oh wow, I just picked up an item that. Uh, give me your hat back. I give me my hat back. Oh hey, look at that. Oh, it's a shop. Oh, so we have bucks. Ammo. Key. Uh, hey, why don't we grab a key? There's a map. Uh, I feel like we don't need the map. Okay. You're in charge of the purchases here. Alright. Revolve there. I'm worried you don't shoot again. Okay, well, let's well, not... I'm gonna stop shooting at him. <laughs> let's not annoy the shopkeep. So, see how quickly you can just kind of, like, go back to this, yeah. this area? Like, that's actually kind of a really annoying problem that the Binding of Isaac has, in my opinion. Oh, when you have to backtrack, you, you gotta backtrack. Right. Oh god, speaking of backtracking, but not actually backtracking though, I had to find uh, an Excel sheet the other day. Uh, hey, can I grab this one? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, reborn in play. Ah, cool. Uh, I don't know, it's awfully short range. Uh, so Y switches your weapons, by the way. Oh. So that, that might have been a good time to, to use the table mechanic right there. Oh fuck, what are those? So are ghosts! Yeah, but they have like machine guns, watch squids, out! Squids, I think. Um, so the other day I had to find an Excel file in, on a computer that was just like horribly organized. And, and so I was like, okay, fuck, where am I gonna find this oh, Excel sorry. file? But, it, like, cause I, cause in Excel there's no way to like open the file path to find out where the file is that you're using. Sure. You like uh, this? Uh, yeah, sure. But so, but I discovered there's a specific function within Excel to okay. find a file path of a file. So oh, it's a Vulcan Raven. Oh, it is Vulcan <laughs> Raven. That's amazing. Wow. Okay, uh, you go left, I'll go right. Whoa! Sorry, Gatling goal, but you know. <laughs> but you know, right? You know. Okay. Crap. Do these break? 
Oh, fuck. Well, this doesn't seem so bad. I'm assuming there's a second form, though. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna do bird powers. Watch out for bird powers. Just don't stop dodge rolling. Oh, oh fuck. I take it back. I, I thought he was about to strip down on me. <laughs> so, wait. Was our, was our friend, like, shooting shit out of its mouth? Okay, so this thing is super short range, but it's so much more powerful than the base gun. Oh, fuck. Uh, the table mechanic so far, I'm not impressed by. Fuck. It seems strong. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe it's like some kind of high level stuff. I don't know. Okay, watch out. And there you go. Just that like was that. close, but I think my key is to not focus on where I'm shooting. Uh, oh, sorry, I think it's... Oh? Except a bunch of items. Oh. <laughs> right, because... Because <laughs> cause this... Cause so, this was a Metal Gear Solid reference, basically. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So... But yeah, sorry if I, uh, uh... What is it? I think I need to not look at... The boss? Besides, look at, like, where my, my character is? Right, yeah, which is what... Which is, like, a shmup thing, right? Like, you... you right, right, you it's like, you just keep shooting. Focus on the evasion rather than the offense. Because the idea is that, like, it almost doesn't matter where you shoot, so long as it's in the same, the proper direction. Like vicinity, exactly. I think there's some auto, uh, or, like, not easy aim, you know, like, target lock type deals. Mm-hmm. There's a tidbit of it. I could be mistaken, whatever. Oh, watch oh, out! Oh! Uh, <laughs> no, it was not clear. Okay. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, the roll. Also, you can just straight up jump the gap. Oh, neat. So. Oh, okay. fuck. The dodge roll feels so good. It's... Whoa! Good thing I remembered how to dodge. Took me a second there. Um. Wow. So that gun I got. Oh shit! I'm already getting real low on health. As are you. Um. Um. Yeah. Well, I actually got some health after the boss. Kind uh, of like a half. Heart. Oh, were you really? Yeah. It was. It was close. It wasn't good. Oh fuck. Uh. But yeah, I, I can see this game like escalating in difficulty very quickly. And it's not particularly easy now. Okay, watch out. Oh, look, watch out for the triangles. There's a- watch out for the whiz robe. Yeah, watch out for this mode 7. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I like that rifle, I mean, that's pretty alright. Right? But, like, the bullet's, like, much faster, but it tells you exactly where it's going to shoot. Okay, I need to- oh. wait, oh, um, shit. Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> alright, um, I, let me- let me grab whatever the next, uh, health thing is. Okay. Wow, was that- was that entire room just for those? Well, I mean, it was fairly difficult. I wonder how you get through this area here. There's probably like you need to get like explosives, right? Or like a maybe explosives. I could see that. Uh, something. There's also like an overworld set. Like so, this is a roguelike, but like some stuff does keep as you unlock it. Yeah, it's like a rogue legacy type deal. Yeah, don't forget to dodge roll, my friend. Um, okay. Like dodge roll constantly. Dodge roll them appropriately. Can I shoot while dodge rolling? I can't. Uh, is there like a like a secret right here? Oh wow! Look at that. I didn't- I did not expect that. Oh, fuck. Oh! No! Oh, i somehow still! Uh, so, something I neglected to mention. Uh, click in both of your sticks. Oh, fuck! Oh, wow. Alright, I am a ghost! You got this, Chaz. Okay. They are also ghosts. Um, if you click in both of your sticks, it- It, it uses up a blank. Which will then make it so that like you don't, oh. Oh, well, you don't get hurt, or, or right. no, it'll, it'll get rid of all the bullets on the screen. Oh, is there any way I can heal you, or like? I don't think so. at least not right now. Can you it move through me to make that little effect happen again? Uh, no, that's that's me pressing the A button. Like so, oh. I, I, does that I, do I, stuff? Is that like an attack? Sorry, yeah, not. yeah. It's like I think it's like I have limited. Oh, what's my special item there? Uh, your special item. Yeah. So heart. your special item is that if you die, I can pick it up. Can, if you die, I can save you with my heart? How do I use item? Uh, so use the right bumper. Oh, oh, fuck. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so Chaz, you just need to take it easy, okay? Okay. Um, in fact, maybe get that, who knows? Take that might be a health easy. thing. What? Oh, oh, what is it? It's, it's, that's a heart. Oh. So look at our top right, so Wait. our hearts are actually just oh, two bullets. Oh, they're two bullets, I see. Yeah. Clever, clever yeah. entering the gungeon. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a buddy. Oh, rescue the buddy. Oh, but you just used our key because we had a key. Oh. Okay, so that's someone who unlocks on the over. Oh. Oh, it's a like a 
diva type Overwatch thing. Diva type Overwatch. What was the robot's name in the new Star Wars movie? Oh, B seven, B two, B two, B two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyways, where did B seven come from? <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, it's the altar. The altar is empty. Do nothing. Cool. It's still cool. empty. Okay, so there's interactables. Okay. So roguelikes, in my opinion, are enhanced a lot by just having like, oh. I don't know, even. Where are the? You gotta go fight the go boss, to? I guess. But where's the boss? Right down at the bottom there, that boss face. Oh, okay. Uh, Rogue that might be a shop, actually. It might be a shop. I, I hope it's a shop. That'd be great. We could maybe get another heart for you. Hey. Hey, look at hey. that. Or, shoot. <gasps> Can we get a key? We get a ring of mimic friendship or get a key. Get the key. Yeah. I'm sorry, Chaz. It's fine. Um, unlocking, so. unlocking the person for the overworld is more important than my life. Right. Oh, look, you can also, uh, there's also just stuff kind of around prime primer. It's a prime primer. So, whatever. Uh, I like say? how you can move around and pretty quickly still with the map up. With a, can you press A on that? I'm trying to press A on that. Do uh, we like, this key not count? Um, like a fake key? <laughs> Are you pressing A? I'm pressing A, wait, wait, did you go up and press A? I pressed A. How do we key? Well, fuck. Oh, fuck. Huh. Yeah, that's questionable. Um, oh well, I guess. Alright, well. All right. But wait, where do we go from here? We have to go south more from the man, from the oh, shopman. The shopman. Alright. Oh. Ah, I forget what I was saying earlier. Yeah, hey, it doesn't matter. Oh! Oh fuck, I fell down. Okay, so I really need to keep an eye more on the on the pits. Because the pits are. The, the pits are. They're, I, uh, oh fuck! Almost difficult to see. Bam! Gotcha. Okay, so also that enemy would be like a really great Whoops. use of no. the table, I think. I agree. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh fuck. that was an enemy. They're like electric things. I can't tell. They're, they're like teleporting around. They're like. Yeah. Oh shit. Also, I just realized that I lost my gun earlier. So. Got to cause you design I'm Danny Phantom. Fuck. Wait, what's what's with you and Danny Phantom recently? Uh, because the last time I was here, we were singing the Danny Phantom theme song. And Danny Phantom's great. He's a phantom. <laughs> well, Danny Phantom. Wait, okay, but but strip. I actually just don't know what Danny. So so is it like a is he a spy? It, no, he was he's a kid with he's a half ghost. So he has oh ghost powers. fuck. He's Danny Phantom. He got trapped in his parents' ghost machine because they're like paranormal researchers. Wait, 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 so is it like a ghost Johnny Quest kind of thing? Yeah, but it's like, I was like a Nick, you know, Nickelodeon cartoon, so it's like that particular art style and all that. Um, okay, yeah, good, you got that. Uh, interesting. Gotta get him off, cause he's damn phantom. Oh, you can, you push, can the push the tables. the tables around, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that, that... Uh, it's, it's more of a factor than you think, but less of a factor than you'd hope. Wow. Yeah. Also, uh, something that just happened is, um, someone's been commenting, uh, a lot on our channel recently. Yes. Who has a cool channel, channel of their own, so that's kind of neat. Uh, what is this person's name? Uh, it's, gosh, it's TC something. Um, does a lot of Sonic stuff. Um, oh, well, TC something, thank you for watching. Yeah, so, yeah, thanks for that. And I believe we might actually, uh... Yeah, going back, because I know we were discussing, uh, future things to play, uh, also in this video, Anyone who's watching, go ahead and comment and recommend anything. We might try to get uh, through to it. Yeah, yeah, so we... Oh. <laughs> the beholster. <laughs> the beholster. Okay, that's pretty funny. Um, wow, so just watch the fuck out, I guess. Ouch. Um, yeah, I, we, we really like it when when, when people suggest games. Um, then we know that you guys are interested, because, like... Oh, Kelly and I will have a pretty good time, like, with whatever we play. Right. So, but, but it'd be, I don't know, it's cool, I think, to, to play you games that you're that, also yeah. interested in. Oh, we're Toho now. Are we? T Wait, Toho? Toho. Oh fuck! Watch out. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think I've been doing most of the dodging here. No, oh, he changed his, his direction. Ah. Okay, Chess, we fucking got this. Gotta kill the poster because he used Daddy Phantom. Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> okay, yeah. No, this, this, this game is good. I yeah. can see this game definitely uh, you can sink some time into. Chaz, what's your D&D &D alignment? D&D &D alignment? Yeah. Neutral. Neutral? Just true neutral? Really? Just cool. straight up. 
I mean, do, what, I, what you think you are, what you actually are. What, what you I actually think, are. Because I think very few people in the real world are... Okay, let's go out first from the cell. Uh, I'm gonna get this, you get the other one. Okay, what about that thing? Um... Do it. Take... Oh, it's a banana. Oh. Plan pain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, fascinating. So you got that, yeah. Okay, well you can just do from any screen. I thought you had to go to teleporter. Oh, no. Oh. But, so you were, you were saying that, uh... That a lot of people, like, don't actually... So... It's... Yeah, I feel like most people don't... Uh, very people have the dedication to a concept of good or evil in modern life. Like, you try to do good, sometimes you do evil. Right. It's just life. Like, like you're probably right. gonna you, end you up in the good somewhere. You come out as neutral. Right. Right. Because chaotic is you You just empirically are devoted to the a concept of chaos. Right. <laughs> like... Like, shit. Just very few people do that. You might, like, disagree with things. I, I don't know. I think it's more complicated than that. Uh, thank you for rescuing Mistress Cadence in this one. I will escort her to the breach. Come on, Ox. Ugh, you're always so slow. Cool. Finally. I knew it would be a while before someone came down here, but seriously, it's been forever. Anyway, we should get back to the shop. It's been closed for way too long. You should come by. We're on the top level of the breach. You can't miss it. Neato. That is cool. Whoa. Neat. Oh, so it just took us straight back yeah. here for some reason. Oh. I think we have to go through here, right? Uh, oh, no, to, to the, the right. right. But, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, one, I forget who, I was talking to someone who who ended up being, like, we like took the official, like, Wizards of the Coast um, D&D alignment thing and ended up being uh, chaotic good. And I was like, damn, like, how does that even happen? Because my understanding is chaotic, um, chaotic neutral and evil are a lot about self-serving, but chaotic good, I guess, is like, not having like a strict moral code uh you could uh so yeah i'm not alignment arguments never end well <laughs> okay well well maybe we'll uh whoa whoa oh cool so i have like a grenade thing it's a plan pain oh it's a banana bomb aka like all a worm style oh i love worms yeah dude it's it's all about it's all about watching your character on this like oh fuck Whoa! Oh, and it gets stronger as you damage the thing. That's cool. It is cool. Wait, there's more. It's a bomb. JD. <laughs> oh, the internet. Wait, is JD? Is that a Scrubs reference? Uh, no. Or JP? J JC, that's what it was. It's a uh, reference to Deus Ex. Uh, oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, dude. The, they sneak up on you there. The, the, the pits, pitfalls. They're kind of hard to see. I, I mean, I, I imagine we'll get used to them, but even still. Kind of hard to see. So I'm okay, looking at all the bullets flying. Oh man, yeah, there there are some downsides. So watch out for the for the spikes. At least I think those are spikes. No, I think there's a ground bit. I think they don't do damage. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Oh, well, well fuck. I tried, and then used your blank. Yeah, oh. I'm a ghost. I'm in Maybe. for a world of plan pain. Oh wait, can I damage people with my? With my ghost screen? Wait, what did I just pick up? Yeah, yeah, so I think that you're able to, like, continue to interact. Oh, sick. Ghost screen. Oh, dang. I hope I can get something to revive you soon. Because I because I don't have your heart thing. Yep, I used it to save you. And you won't save me. Huh. Yeah. But that's, I think, this is also be a game Fuck. that could be very much easier with one person. Right, because there's less craziness going on. Right. Which, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of crazy shit going on the screen right now. And I honestly have no idea how I've survived this long. Remember, it's all about self-control, I think. Oh, oh, yeah, I mean, like, not moving, like, too much and, like, not dodging, like, too many well, times. Well, you don't, like, worry about the world around you, only about yourself. Right. There was no anger, there was the force. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, shit, so which way do you think shop? Uh, bottom left. Bottom left? Yeah, absolutely. I was not even going to listen to you at all if we if you didn't choose bomb left. Oh, well. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. I trusted the ghost for some reason. All right. Well, and thus ends our first run. The implication there is that in the alternate reality where you get the gun that can kill the past, you kill the past where you die. I, I think so. Because I think that was like the gun killing like time thing, right? Well, it's I think it's something like that, like because uh, because right, like, but. I think the implication is also that something terrible happened in the past, so I don't know. I'm going to... 
Uh, sure, let's go with the yeah, pilot. Yeah, the pilot. But let's grab you, and then I want to take a, before we end this episode, I want to go take a look at uh, the shop that we got. We have three bucks. Wow. Oh, three universal bucks. Yeah, so I guess that's the cutscene area, maybe? On the top of the breach. Is this... Can we... Can Is we leave? The oh, oh, this will take us to this title screen, I bet. I'm bet... Oh! Cool. All right, well, let's, let's well, keep going, though. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, what were you saying? Um, nothing. I was about to say, uh... No, I don't... I have something. It's not important. Wait, not... wait, 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 can I become... No, I, I I think it's disappointing that the co-op person can't see... Oh, fuck! <laughs> can't seem to become an, a person. Sup. No one... Oh, wait, hey, stop painting it. Let, let, me, let me speak. Oh, have you seen that misguided spirit? Sarah Man... Oh. He's stuck in those halls, lost sad, really. So this is the tutorial. I actually did this off screen. Um, oh. it, was, it was it was good, but simple. I wonder, sure. uh, is the up shop here. up here? Oh yeah, you're right. Like there's probably some side areas up here. Left and right. Yeah, here we go. Take a left. The heart whoa, bottle. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck whoa, does whoa, that whoa. do? Two guns. Rocket. Oh, so this is the store. Rocket powered so bullets, RPG. So, so I wonder. Oh, you probably unlock these guns for unlocking. Try the Thompson submachine gun. That sounds neat. You think so? Not the hegemony carbine? Because that sounds fucking cool. The hegemony cool. carbine? Yeah, I get the hegemony carbine. Uh, let's let's chat with them real quick. Oh, thank you for your assistance. The acquisitions department is once again operational. And hey, hey thanks for getting us out of that cell. cell. This is the Gungeon Acquisitions Department. You can donate bucks and we'll order new guns and items for the collection. It can be hard to come by here in the Gungeon, but since the h -mon took over, that's all anyone on the outside uses. Yeah, the Gungeon is like a reliquary or some kind of museum, only for guns. So we are collecting all the best ones and then throwing them downstairs. <laughs> Luckily, the H-Mon has to put rebels down pretty regularly, so we've got a constant supply of new equipment. They'll sell us anything. Once they're ordered, you can find the new stuff down in the chambers. So order whatever you want. If you've ordered everything we've listed, just come back later. That's it. Huh. Uh, it's got the Gemini this? carbine. Oh it's, oh, it's showing it in the middle. Like, okay. Oh. Yeah, all right. Yeah, hegemony. Neat. Cool. All right. So let us enter the gungeon. So, oh, let, let's see if there's something to the right here. Oh, okay. Um, nothing. Oh, mm. it's sad. Oh, there's like little sad pillars. Uh, but actually, we're gonna cut the episode here. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you yeah. next time for more Enter the, to gungeon. the gungeon. Woo! Beep, beep, beep.